Luna loves. I know it's been a very long time. I've been kind of on a hiatus because my new job leaves no time for videos unless I want to do them on the weekend and I don't because the weekend is for fun and relaxation and this is really stressful. Hold on. Videos. Ugh. Phone slipped. So. Different background because I... Yes. Which is Moonbox. I stand by what I said in my review video, but I'm still following them on Facebook. And they posted their theme for this month, and it's celestial, and I am weak for anything related to astronomy or celestial or any anything. So I reactivated my subscription. I had a weak moment. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Okay, so apparently what I have my phone attached to is a very, very weak adhesive, so that might happen again. Anyway, I may keep it going. I may cancel it again. I don't even know. My House of Rituals box came too. I'll do that unboxing another day. But let's get started on this one because I'm excited. Even if I end up with way too much incense and candles I don't burn and bath salts I don't use, eh. Alrighty. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. See this? I'm familiar with this deck because I want to buy it, but I don't have it yet. It's something to do with, um, it's love-themed, and I think it's Josephine Wall art. Yep, it's Josephine Wall art. I love Josephine Wall. Another reason I am doing my video in here instead of in the other room is because this is a different time of day. Normally I do my videos in the morning, this is evening, the sun is on the opposite side of the house, so you'll see the sun just glaring on me at some point. Any sudden shadows are my cat, because this is her perch, this dresser. Anyway, so we've got this beautiful art by Josephine Wall. That's my cat's tail, and that's a screen from the window. Please don't knock it over, Onyx forgiveness. I'm not feeling like I need to forgive anybody right now, but okay. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. I'm cool. I can't think of anything. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place right now, so it's still really pretty though. Okay. Paper. Looking at that later. Ooh. This is one of those, um, I think they call it the elfin star, the fairy star. I think it's a sept septogram, heptogram, heptogram. And there it goes falling again. This is going to be fun. But it's interesting, it's got the different symbols in there. I know that's like male and female, I, don't know, I can see that. It looks like some astronomy signs and of course the um, element signs on the outside. Cool. Okay, ooh. The Zodiac and Celestial Sky. Ooh, look how pretty. And it's got all the, um... <laughs> this is going to be a very fun video because the camera is constantly falling, so it'll be fun. <sighs> okay. Um, the Astrological Zodiac signs at the bottom. I'm going to read mine. I'm a Libra. Motto, I balance. Date, September 23rd to October 22nd. Planet Venus, quadruplicity, cardinal dynamic. What is quadruplicity? I've never heard of that. Traits, balanced, cooperative, and diplomatic. That is so true. The worst thing I ever experience is when things are not in a cooperative spirit. I hate competition. I hate confrontation. I just want everyone to be at peace and cooperating all the time. Um, fair, gracious, peaceful, social. See, I'm not social though. I can be, I'm really good at faking it, but I am not. I am very private. So that's like the one aspect of Libra I'm not. Stone, lapis lazuli, opal, and zircon. I love lapis lazuli, so I'm good with that. I know it's an air sign. They're not saying, oh yes they are. I didn't see this. They've got fire signs, earth signs, air signs, and water signs. But yes, it is an air sign, and I'm definitely an air spirit, so. 
Sometimes I feel like I'm more of a Virgo, but I'm really not that practical. I'm practical, but I'm not that practical. But, but if I had to pick my favorite element, it'd be air, and then right after air, it'd be earth. And then fire, and then water's my least favorite, because I can't swim. Tried to learn, couldn't do it. Just not my thing. Also, my emotions out of everything are the least developed. Oh my gosh, there's two. Oh, Maybon, because it's coming up this month. What's in the bottom? No, okay. Modern pagans celebrate Maybon as a time of Thanksgiving and the second of three harvest festivals, preceded by the grain harvest of Lamas and followed by the blood harvest of Samhain. Maybon coincides with the autumnal equinox, 21st to 25th September. The equinox, derived from the Latin equinoctium, equal night, is a time of equilibrium, when the veil of the seen and unseen thins. In the northern hemisphere, the autumnal equinox designates the shortening of days and the lengthening of nights. Mm -mm. Yay, colors, burgundy, burnt oranges, cobalt blue, crimson red, gold, indigo, mustard yellows, etc. I love all of those, except maybe the mustard yellow. Intentions, thanksgiving and gratitude for prosperity, rest, enjoying fruits of the harvest, harmony and balance, a time of giving, Celebrating kinship and friendships, a time of introspection, veneration of the land. Customs and rituals, preparing for the literal and symbolic winter, making offerings to the land, appeasing restless spirits and spirits of the land, preserving and protecting wild places in nearby lands, making wine and sharing it with helpful people and spirit guides, sharing personal abundance. I like it. Mm. Look at this beautiful dark blue, and it looks really pretty in my sunset that I'm filming in, too. Ooh, I smell something already. And it fell again. Am I making y'all dizzy yet? I don't know. They, I guess the adhesive on my thing is like fading, and I could get tape and fix it, but I'm lazy and I don't want to. <laughs> Stick. Herba... what? Can't read it. Can't read it at all. I want to say it's like herba. F f I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. Just smells like wheat and parsley and oh my god. You'd think I could film this over, but this is my natural reaction to what's coming out. I can't fake a natural reaction. Uh, I wish I could get this straight. All right, compass weed. Wow. Smells. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of. Ugh, God. Olive oil, maybe. I don't know. It smells weird. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells weird. Okay. Something astral. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. I just got packing tape and taped the thing down. If it falls again, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. The Astral Dance. I hope this smells amazing. Hi, Onyx. Meow. Ooh. Mmm, peppermint. I don't know what else is in here, but it's definitely something mint, and I really like it. It is good. Okay, let's see if I can move this up a little bit. There we go. Mm, look at all the black. Mm, black is the color that is good. So say I and many more. That's a song by a band called Quintal. Q N T A L. And also, I can't sing, so... Hmm, Luna. I will never use this, but it's pretty. I will definitely not use this. 
Wow. I mean, there's lavender. And I think chamomile, which sound nice, but there's another element in here that I do not recognize that is not making it nice anymore. I mean, the lavender part's nice. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting excited because it's a little package. What? It, it's something preserved between two. Okay, wow. Yeah, <laughs> look at the forever reflection. I love it. Okay, no. And then, oh yeah, you can see out my window. See what a pretty view I have? There's something in there. I mean, I don't even, can you see it? Oh, you know what? This is plastic actually. So if I really wanted to take it out, I could. Looks like a piece of leaf or something. I mean, at least I hope it's a piece of leaf and not something gross. I don't know why they'd send me something gross, so. Mm. Mm. I feel something soft. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a very soft bag. <gasps> it feels so good on my cheeks. And... Ooh. <gasps> oh, it's Oracle cards. I'm so happy right now. And I don't have this deck, which is great. I didn't even know this deck existed. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Yay. I've been collecting Oracle cards lately. I have like eight decks so far. I'm so excited to have more. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this is the um, anointing oil. Starry wisdom. Starry. Starry wisdom. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, now I'm really loving that I'm in the direct sunlight. Look how pretty that is. You know what? I think that's... Um, Pyrite. Shred it up, pyrite in there. Let's smell it. <gasps> Ooh. I wish I was better at describing things. Oh my gosh, that's so lovely. It's like rose and sandalwood, and this reminds me of a sage goddess scent. I think um, it's called. Is it called Freya? Mmm. That is nice. I am so glad I did this. I will use that. I still haven't used up my very first box, but hey. <gasps> Ooh, I think this is rutilated quartz. Oh my gosh, it actually looks nice this time and not like something fake. Or is it smoky quartz? It might be a big piece of smoky quartz. Now that I'm thinking about it, what are you doing, Onyx? She's messing with the blinds. Ooh. I'm feeling some power from this. Hold on, hold on, let me get in the light. Mm. Mm. I like it. Yay. I like when I like stuff. Okay, last thing is the candle. Mm, slightly scented. Ooh, well, let me show you what... Okay, that's a lot of herbs in the bottom, which makes it look kind of gross. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if that fell out of something. But it's all nice and shimmery on the top. Let's see here. The Elder Guides. Among the moon, the stars, the sky, lies the secrets hidden high. But as I stand with flame in hand, the stars shine bright as the wick does dance. For as above lies the eldest guides, and so below I share these ties. I center my eye on the dark abyss as the wisdom twinkles, a manif I, ma I manifest. I love that. The um, second hermetic principle of correspondence as above, so below is like my mantra. That's what my whole spirituality is around right now. So the fact that the little ritual here, whatever you call this, the incantation invokes that is awesome. I'm excited. Celestial wisdom. Impossible to disregard, the cosmos have played a determining role in the patterns presented on our path. 
How easy it is to forget that we too are made of cosmic stardust, harnessing within us a limitless potential to learn, grow, and achieve. Although we are the ultimate key holders to the grand door of destiny, the universal stars are there to guide us through. In this very special collection, we have curated and sourced the tools necessary to connect to the stars and the ever-changing messages that are available to us. Join us this month of September as we connect and become one with celestial wisdom. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. Blah, 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 etc., etc. The typical stuff. Okay. It says a little bit about the oracle cards. Oh, okay. 22 card Art Nouveau Oracle deck has been a favorite of ours and has been in our collection for many years. We are so thrilled to be able to share this metallicized deck with you to enjoy. These cards hold both star sign cards and planetary cards to pull wisdom from. We chose this specific deck to include in this collection based on the beautiful artwork and meaningful readings that we have been blessed with over the years. These cards have always resonated deeply with the pressing issues in our world. For millennia, people have looked to the heavens for guidance here on Earth, perhaps because we too are made of cosmic stardust. We feel the connection between the patterns in our lives and the patterns seen in the night sky. Shooting star specimen... Wait, what? Oh! This thing! Oh! We have been working to source these shooting stars for many moons. These specific meteorites are known as Campo del Cielo Iron Meteorite. This shooting star fell from the sky 4,700 years ago, about 1,000 kilometers northwest of Buenos Aires, Argentina. This meteorite is now a protected specimen and can only be harvested with special permission from the government. This extraterrestrial stone has been long known for having supernatural powers. Revered by many cultures, meteorite has been associated with the fiery power of creation and change. Also used for kundalini activation, the shooting star allows us to refine the vision facing inwards, awakening ourselves spiritually. Ooh. Now I'm really happy. Oh, that is so cool. I have a sliver of a meteorite. Okay. Zodiac Enhancement Sigil. You probably just saw Onyx's tail, didn't you? <sighs> we have created this sigil with the intention of enhancing the strength traits of your personal zodiac sign. In the center of this sigil, we have left blank a space for you to draw, paint, or write your zodiac symbol. This sigil can be placed near your altar or inside of your Book of Shadows. Cool. All right. I'm not going to read about everything because my videos are way too long as it is. But I'm not going to worry about the candle. Oh, yeah, let's see what's in the anointing oil. Created with the intention of enhancing the search for knowledge that flows through your life. Yes. Okay, what's in it? Cedarwood, lavender, and rosemary, and mugwort, and leaf of silver. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz, said to personify oneness in your aura. We have also included a blend of special mixture of our night air magical oil. Cedarwood, lavender, and rosemary. Nice. It's very nice. Okay, what's in the... Okay, Luna, goddess, sacred salt. We've created the sacred salt with the intention of enhancing the energy of the goddess Luna, which resembles instinct, creativity, luck, femininity, water, and safety. As the sacred salt relieves you of self-doubt and negative self-thoughts, it begins to fill your spirit with psychic energy and focus. We have enchanted this salt with chamomile, as well as lavender and chamomile herb, as well as a special mixture of our moon magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. So it's probably the moon magical oil that's making it smell funny, because I recognize the lavender chamomile, and then there was just that extra element that wasn't quite right. Must be it. Smoky quartz. Okay. I don't know why I said rutilated. We have placed a piece of smoky quartz in this collection to assist you in connecting to phenomena outside of yourself. As the grounding energies of smoky quartz keep you present on the earth, in your physical body, the ethereal magnet that it holds allows fairy spirit guides and higher sources of wisdom to come into manifestation. With the ability to hold these powers, smoky quartz is then used to bring our dreams and intentions into physical reality. Cool. Incense. I. Am I missing something? I didn't. It says there's incense, but I don't think I found it. I have any incense in here. Up. Oh. Now I find it. Okay, it smells like the candle. It's very. <laughs> It's very, like, it's a deep, floral, earthy, like, it's rich. 
It'll be interesting to see how that burns. All right, what does it say? Mm, just says woody and evergreen aroma. Okay, that's not telling me what it is. Does it say what's in the candle? <laughs> Eucalyptus, spearmint, rosemary, and peppermint. I don't know what the woody part would be. Yeah, it keeps saying mugwort, but it says mugwort separately for some reason. Spearmint, eucalyptus, rosemary, and peppermint. You would think it would smell super minty, but it doesn't. It smells super earthy. I don't know. The Astral Dance Sacred Smoke Blend, created to be burned upon charcoal within a cauldron or small dish. We have created this mixture with mugwort, sage, and spearmint. Yeah, the spearmint was super strong. <sighs> As you start your ritual, we recommend placing a pinch of this mixture upon charcoal, allowing the scent to seep into your energy. This blend is a great blend for banishing negativity, allowing for visions and prophetic dreams. This blend can also be burned while resting by your bedside to induce dreams that bring answers or even questions that may hold importance in your life in this moment. Herba John. I never would have figured that out. Oh, it's a name. Okay. St. John's Wort. They couldn't just call it St. John's Wort? Assists you in recognizing signs and messages. This herb can be placed in a pouch or placed upon your altar to allow you to recognize the magic around you. Best known for its protective qualities, St. John's Wort can be included in protection spells or placed around your home to ward off evil energy. I've also heard it's a good antidepressant. Compass weed or rosemary. Again, just call it rosemary. What? They have to have a special magical name for it, I guess. One of the oldest used herbs for banishing negativity and purifying energy. While working to achieve astral travel, place rosemary under your pillow to ensure your journey is without nightmare. And then it just talks about the oracle reading, the parchment paper, and the Book of Shadows artwork, which is the same um, description for every box anyway. Okay. Was it worth it? I think so because this is the first crystal I have gotten from them that I've actually really, really liked and didn't think that I was getting gypped. Or, you know, or that it was fake. So I'm happy with that. I like the oil this time, so I might use it. The incense is very intriguing. Maybe it's the eucalyptus that's so strong because it's more woody than it is minty, but I don't know. Pretty sure it's the eucalyptus. That'll be interesting to burn. And I really like the sigil, and then I got a piece of meteorite, and oh yeah, the oracle cards. Worth it. That was exciting, and I will keep it going. We'll see what next month is, because I'm really excited for the Samhain box too. So you'll at least get another Witch's Moon box out of me, and then House of Rituals will be up in a few weeks. Also, I filmed the last Witch's Moon box I got from June. Haven't finished editing it. It's September. I might still post it. I don't know. The longer I wait, the more ridiculous it's going to be that I waited so long. So I might post that too right after this one. I know, honey. Hmm. You thought I was making my cat up, didn't you? Nope. Look at the people. Say hi. She's just like, what are you holding me for? Let me go. Okay, bye. Anyway. Good journey loves and I'll see you next time.